Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bitcoin Show. Today is Friday, July 1st. It's a whole new month. Can you believe that? Uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. We're here, as you know, every weekday, Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Just go to DaytonTime.com and find out what time that is where you live because we are a global. We're not a local show. No, no, no. We're not a national show. We're a global television network for a new generation. Isn't that right, Ed? <laughs> so as the chat room often reminds us, you are everywhere. And we are everywhere, right? But we are only one. Only one TV. So anyway, this is episode 19 of the Bitcoin Show. And um, so, like I said, every weekday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, that's New York time, we are here for you uh, with all kinds of breaking news and exciting stuff. But occasionally, and a lot lately, I think three or four times this week, we've actually done two shows a day. We did one last night, uh, like at 8 p.m. Sometimes we'll have a guest that happens to live in Tokyo, Japan, or Australia, or something, and we, we want to accommodate their schedule a little bit so we're not actually taping a show uh, with them at 4 a.m. or something their time. So um, we'll do one in the evening, like 8 or 9 or 10 p.m. our time. So uh, sometimes we do these little bonus shows, and we end up actually with more than five shows a week, often. And so uh, that's going to be the case tomorrow. So um, if you're watching this live or if you get this in time, be sure and check us out tomorrow on Saturday the 2nd. We're going to have um, a very important show, same time, 2 p.m. on Saturday. We're just, we're just throwing in extra shows all the time because there's so much happening every day. It's crazy. We're going to have to go to two shows a day. What is that? You know, There's just so much happening in the world of Bitcoin. We just can't get it all in. Um, so there's that. And then, of course, for the Spanish-speaking world, which is huge, right? All of Central South America, Spain, Mexico, and the USA more and more. Um, we have a show especially for you, and it's in Espanol, El Show de Bitcoin, which is on Wednesdays, 4 p.m. weekly. That one's just weekly so far. So um, today I want to uh, first, I want you to thank our sponsors for, uh, for us being here. If it weren't for our sponsors, obviously we wouldn't be here to report the news and to interview cool people and talk about such amazing things. I got so many things in the works, it's unbelievable. Um, we're hiring a new vice president of operations. He's going to start in two weeks, and uh, I'll surprise you with who it is. It's someone actually that you may know, and uh, he's going to be starting here in two weeks, and he's just, whoa, he is full of skills and brilliance. So he's going to really help us launch 31 shows altogether. So uh, really, really exciting news there. And some of the show topics and guests that we have coming are phenomenal. Really cool twists. We're going to have special segments specifically about the world of mining, specifically about uh, you know, Bitcoin for beginners, um, security, all sorts of specialized topics um, and, and interesting twists on things. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Today, we have a special guest with us who is launching a... Oh, I didn't thank our sponsors. I was, <laughs> that's where I went to go. Thanking our sponsors. <laughs> Whoa, I got completely off topic. Our sponsors are the reason we're here. I'm so anxious to jump into what we're here to talk about. But the sponsors are the ones who make all this possible. They are. Today's episode is brought to you by U.S. Gold Coins. USGoldCoins.com. That's Andy Gauss. He is our, the most brilliant person in the world, is in my book, when it comes to money in general. Money, monetary systems, uh, monetary history, et cetera, et cetera. And he has a business called usgoldcoins.com, and he will help you invest and diversify your investments into rare, uh, they call it numismatic, rare U.S. gold and silver coins, which hold value two ways, both because of the metal, the rare gold and silver, and also because they're rare. So it's a great way to diversify your investments. Don't put everything into one coin basket. And also, Mezzi Grill, the world's first restaurant that accepts Bitcoin right there at the cash register. Great big decal right above MasterCard, Visa, and all the rest. They've got We Accept Bitcoin. Actually, it's bigger than all the rest. And that's why reporters are going in and out of there all the time going, wow, this is so cool. NPR was there the other day and someone was ahead of them in line also paying with Bitcoin. How cool is that? If you're in New York or if you're passing through New York, it's just a few blocks south of Columbus Circle. Stop in at Mezzi Grill, M-E-Z-E grill.com. Check out their website. They have the most amazing food. That's how we discovered them because it's one of our favorite places to go. And Carpe VM, C A R P E V M.com, Carpe VM Video Marketing. They will help you write the script. They'll help you do everything you need to do to create a really professional video, even if you're camera shy. A lot of people don't like to be on camera. They're not, uh, you know, uh, they're, a, I don't know, they're shy and they don't, they don't feel like uh, comfortable in front of a camera. 
they're, they're blogging instead of doing video blogs or something. If you're shy or whatever the case may be, you're not sure how to pull off a professional video to market your product or service, these guys are the pros. Carpe VM, their studio is right across the street and they're brilliant. Great friend of mine, Charlie Devanitas. So ask for them and thank them for sponsoring the Bitcoin show and Only One TV, all the shows actually on Only One TV. So carpevm.com and of course, tradehill.com. Tradehill.com is the new kid on the block that is becoming like hitting the market with a bang. They're just exploding with growth. <laughs> They're just like, they're handling it well, but trust me, they're busy. They're, uh, their volume is, is just exploding off the charts over there, and uh, they're hiring people like crazy. But what it is, tradehill.com is the, uh, the convenient way to buy and sell Bitcoins online from the comfort of your own home without, you know, without even going out and meeting someone. You could literally buy, get money in and out through many different currencies, many different methods, and you can save 10% off your trade fees for life if you use the referral code for the Bitcoin show, which is on your screen there, TH-R141. So jot that down, TH, as in Trade Hill, dash R, like referral, 141. You'll be supporting Only One TV and the Bitcoin show. And uh, thank Trade Hill for sponsoring us. And our newest sponsor today is Mount Gox. Mt. Gox, you already know, if you're in the Bitcoin world, who doesn't know Mt. Gox? They have a, a huge market share, and uh, Mark has been a guest on our show, and uh, they are, they're, you know, I have, a, I have a great personal relationship with, with them. They're trusted members of the community. They also have had all kinds of uh, disastrous problems with this hacking attempt, but, you know, the fact is that they're back, they're resilient, they're in this for the long haul, and they've relaunched a new site that uh, has better security. And um, as I said, they're in this for the long haul. They could have just run away with everyone's Bitcoins, but um, they didn't do that. They're, they, you know, you fall down with something new, a new launch and it's, it, with explosive growth, and you pick yourself up and brush yourself off and do it again. So they're back and uh, more resilient than ever. And uh, most people are still, you know, trusting them. They still have a vast majority market share. So Mt. Gox is our newest sponsor. We welcome them. Uh, we welcome everyone because everybody is in this for the benefit of Bitcoin, the Bitcoin community, the Bitcoin economy. We all stick together. And we thank Mt. Gox for also supporting the Bitcoin show and Only One TV. So today we have with us uh, an amazing guest, Thomas Benoit, because this T is silent, right? Oh, we lost him. All right, we're getting him back. <laughs> anyway, that's all right. I'll keep talking about him. Thomas Benoit, he's, uh, he's launching a new site. I'm going to let him tell you all about it. But uh, he didn't want to wait until, until Monday or Tuesday because the site is ready now. And it's really, really exciting. This is going to rock the mining world. And not just mining uh, as in the specialized industry that is mining, but mining for you, you as an individual. As you know, in the first phase, I call it the first phase of Bitcoin, you could just install the app and start mining. And it was really cool because like, I remember I ran it for like two days and I got 50 Bitcoin. I was like, wow, that was worth like, you know, 20 bucks <laughs> at that time. And I was like, this is pretty cool. Maybe I should go and buy 10 computers. Maybe I should buy 100 computers. You know, I was thinking it through and doing the math. Of course, all that's changed because the difficulty has increased. Meanwhile, the value of Bitcoin has increased. But, um, you know, the cost of electricity and so on and so on, it's become a real specialized industry. How, so what that has done is that it's knocked the individual layman kind of out of the field of mining. But not anymore, because Thomas's new startup is called bitdriller.com. B-I-T-D-R-I-L-L-E-R, bitdriller.com. And it's going to bring mining to the ordinary common person. Um, in a very unique way. So we, do we have uh, Thomas back? Yep, yeah. I'm oh, back. there you are. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, we're like, <laughs> little technical difficulty. Thank you, Skype. <laughs> technical difficulty sponsored by Skype. Anyway, <laughs> Thomas, you're joining us from where? Where are you again? I'm in uh, Quebec, Canada. Quebec. I've never been there. I've always wanted to go there. I've heard that's like a, an amazing French party town, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so I already gave a, a, a great introduction to how your new startup, bitdriller.com, is going to uh, give the common ordinary consumer or person, individual, access to the mining industry. So tell us exactly what Bitdriller is going to do. Okay, well, yeah, Bitdriller is a, a really huge project. Um, so far, we've seen, uh, for anybody who follows uh, a few uh, e either individuals or maybe small groups of people uh, were offering what's called mining contracts uh, where somebody pays you know US dollars or some other currency and somebody uh, to, to rent out basically hashing power to mine bitcoins. So it's not a new concept, it's been around for a while. However, what we're trying to do is make it easily accessible to just anybody who wants to, to try it out. And so we're gonna do, be doing that by offering very small contracts as well as very large contracts uh, so that you know even if you just want a two-week contract for let's say 100 mega hash which is really nothing um, you'd be able to do that or you'd be able to invest you know as much as you wanted really mm -hmm. so uh, for the the layman out there I mean obviously the people in the mining industry know what that means but for the layman what it what it really means is um, as as hopefully you you know this much that uh, mining comes from the computational power that um, that a PC um, does to process hashing, which is basically like creating numbers, okay, in a super simplified form. So when that uh, happens, the more hashing ability, the the more return on investment with mining. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. So the hashing power is basically just the amount of computational. Uh, uh, power that's being used for that purpose? Yeah, it's, I guess it's uh, sort of the speed at which you'd be generating coins, roughly. Okay, roughly the speed. Okay, cool. So you can actually sell that, you can quantify it as, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it, a giga hash? Yeah, well, the, you have a mega hash, and then there's a thousand mega hashes in a giga hash. Mm -hmm. A thousand mega hashes in a giga hash, okay. So it's a unit of measurement to measure. That's right. Uh, the amount of processing power that you can get, okay, which is a return on investment. So y you can buy that in, um, is that sold like in a, a time increment then as well? Yeah, well, the, the way we're working is uh, right now uh, we're only offering pre-orders of the service. So the service isn't running up just yet. Uh, pre-orders will be a three-month contract for one giga hash per second. Mm -hmm. One giga hash per second. Okay, yeah. for a three-month period? That's right. Okay. However, when we've got the rest of the service up and running, you'll be able to go from anywhere from 100 mega hashes to two weeks to easily over 10 giga hashes for a year. Okay. Now, how would an ordinary person who doesn't really understand this at that level, how would they be able to determine if that's profitable or how profitable it would be and the return on investment? Do you do that for them or help them figure that out? Well, there's a lot of uh, calculators uh, available online. We'll eventually mm -hmm. have one directly on our site. But mm -hmm. for now, um, there is one, uh, I forget what it's called. I think it's uh, on the A-L-L-O-S-C-O-M-P is the website. They've got a Bitcoin calculator on there. If you type that in Google, it'll be the first, uh, first one. So you type your hash rate in, in mega hashes, and then the exchange rate, and it'll tell you roughly what your expected returns would be. Where is this again, this, this tool? Um, a l l o s c o m p dot com P. slash bitcoin slash calculator dot php. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so we'll put that we'll we'll put that in the show notes so that people can access it. So that's yeah. not something you created. That's just something. No, that, no. That's okay. just a. It's an easy tool. There's quite a few of these things that exist, but this one's uh, kind of the most straightforward. Um. So yeah, that's that's what we'll be be doing mm -hmm. in the the short term. Okay, so they can use that tool and they can calculate. So, I mean, I, I've seen on the forums, I, I mean, I, I don't know that much about it, but I have scrolled through and glanced, and I've seen that people have been able to create charts, and I, I, I assume it's like very complex, lots of numbers go into it, but it includes the value of Bitcoin, what the value of Bitcoin is at the time, the cost of electricity, the difficulty rate that is, you know, determined Sorry, by I the... I think I just lost you. Right, okay. And then you can see this, this chart that where the curve goes up and down. Peaks 
are when it's most profitable to do mining, and the valleys are when it's most profitable to do uh, to actually buy them with cash. And then the second opportunity is an, an investment opportunity, as you're calling it, which is where basically the consumer buys the machine. Uh, you don't have to actually physically buy it. You, you actually buy it for me. And then the machine lives in, in your place, in your, your server farm, and you maintain it, you operate it and all that. But because I own it, there is, uh, there is the, uh, what do you call it, the luck of, uh, there's not a guaranteed rate or anything like that. There's the luck of the natural machine itself running. And you can sell, you can use my machine to slice it up and sell out contracting services, which I get 80% of the revenue for. Or I can just use it all for my own mining or divide it any way thereof. Or I can have it all used for my own mining and I can sell, I can split it up among my friends who want a, a piece of this. So it's two different things. So people are, are paying for, uh, you're either paying for a contract or you're buying the machine. It's not both. And the electricity is included in either way. Is that right? Yeah, either way, whether, uh, whether you're mining uh, you know, as a contract or if you're an investor, either way, we're paying for everything. So you don't have to pay a cent more um, mm -hmm. than the initial investment. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. So the electricity is included either way. All right, so is everybody clear in the chat room about that? Um, basically, you're paying somebody else to do mining for you so you don't have to bother. There's two ways. I'll call it method A is where you're just buying a contract which is like a, like a, I think of it as a timeshare. Like A is like a timeshare and B is where you actually buy the apartment. So A right. is where you're just taking a slice of it, a piece of it, and uh, you pay for that, and then um, you get the revenue that comes from that. And option B is where you actually buy the physical hardware and yeah. uh, you get the reward back, right? Yeah, and I'd just like to clarify something uh, mm -hmm. I've seen in the chat a lot of is uh, people saying, well, right now, a contract, if you look at the current difficulty ratio and the expected profits, mm -hmm. isn't profitable. And I'd like to say, first of all, that is true. Um, at the current rates, it's not profitable. However, if you look at, again, like I said, a few weeks back, the price of Bitcoin was going up faster than the network was. So over time, you'd actually end up making more profit, even if you were, you know, Act, uh, getting less bitcoins. Mm -hmm. So, what I like to say is yes, uh, you know, it's not as profitable right now. However, if you do believe that bitcoin is going to pick up and start skyrocketing, like I think it is, uh, it can eventually be a lot more profitable than buying coins. And the other thing is, like I said, these are brand newly minted coins, which, you know, kind of have a bit more value to some people um, who are looking for new coins, particularly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, I mean, someone's asking if you are, I mean, if Bitcoin value is going up and up and up, would it be more profitable just to buy Bitcoins or to buy a contract? Um, well, you'd end up paying less for the contract than you would for buying those Bitcoins, right? Mm -hmm. um, often, well, it depends what period of time it is, but if a Bitcoins are a while back, if you s decided to buy a mining contract at this price, it would have been a lot cheaper to do this mining contract than to do um, actually just buying them off the market. And that's where it, it becomes kind of interesting is for a certain amount of time, it's more profitable for you to buy a mining con contract, but that also means that we're kind of losing money because we could have just been mining for ourselves and made more money, right? Mm -hmm. But then on the flip side of that, there's other periods of times in the sort of valleys of you know the charts, like right now, mm -hmm. where it's more profitable us for us to sell contracts than to mine. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to keep going through peaks and valleys like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, I think it's just going to keep going and you have to know if you think it's going to go up, then it's a good time to invest and we'll lose some money for it. And if it's going down, well, then we'll gain a bit for it. And so I think it equals out in the end. Right. So I guess it just, it's your, it's, it is speculative and it's, it depends on your prediction of, and um, what you think it's going to do with difficulty and with the cost, the price of Bitcoin and whether you're right or not. <laughs> right? Exactly. And the, I think one thing that's really important, I think I mentioned it to you yesterday, is if you're really serious about investing into Bitcoin, 
I really think that you should be investing in more than one place. And I think this mm -hmm. is a great way to do that. Where to diversify. Yeah, diversify because mm -hmm. this doesn't entirely depend on the price of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. uh, right. So it doesn't vary in the same way that the market does necessarily. They're very interconnected, mm -hmm. but they don't follow each other. You know, yeah. at times mining will be much more profitable. At times it'll be less profitable. Right. So it's, you know, you, it's up to you to figure out when to jump in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think a three-month contract is, for starting out, is probably the best way to do that, which is why we put it at three months. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think in the next three months we'll really see uh, pick up in Bitcoin. Right. You limit your risk. And um, yep. the other thing that um, you had mentioned the other day when we talked was that you're also going to be selling mining rigs outright. So if I want to buy a mining rig and install it at home, you can sell it to me? Is that another option? Yeah, that's right. Uh, that service is going to be coming a bit later. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we will be doing that. We will be selling uh, just straight up mining rigs. Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, so that's the, our third sort of business. Wow. You've got yep. a lot going on. I don't know how you're going it, to... It seems like a very complex business and uh, it's also got a, a, a sort of a learning curve. Well, not so much a learning curve for you guys, but a teaching curve. For the customer. Yeah, for sure. We're mm -hmm. really working on getting it more accessible. Mm -hmm. I think it, at first, as of now, uh, it is more targeted. Not everybody's going to be able to jump in right now. Mm -hmm. But thanks to the people who jump in early, we're going to be able to bring this market to a lot of people who otherwise, you know, wouldn't have any idea of what's going on. Right. Right. And, wow. It's amazing. So. Um, everybody check out um, bitdriller.com. They're launching today, right now as we speak. It's B-I-T Driller, B-I-T-D-R-I-L-L-E-R.com, bitdriller.com. And if you sign up, you, uh, it's a sort of a, a what is it, initial pre-offering. Uh, if you sign up right now, you will actually be able to get a contract for three months and you're going to get 10% off, am I right? For, if you use the referral code ONLY1TV. It's a long That's one, right. but you'll yeah. remember it. It's o all spelled out. O-N-L-Y-O-N-E-TV is the referral code for 10% off. So that's, we appreciate you doing that. And uh, we really appreciate you being on the show today and explaining everything and, and us giving us the exclusive. If you're starting a startup, you know, make, if it's really, yeah. really cool, make sure we get the exclusive. And that way the audience knows that you'll, you'll always get um, the latest hot, hot news about in the Bitcoin world by watching um, the Bitcoin show here at Only One TV. And thank you so much, Thomas. We really appreciate your time. Thanks. And explaining this. So, all right, we'll have you back on again soon. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes. I think you should... Sorry, I'm, you're cutting out. Go ahead. All right. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's what we've got planned in the near future. That's services we're going to be offering. Um, but I really want people to be looking forward to a miners market, which is going to be opening a bit later. We still have to do a lot of work on that, mm -hmm. but that's actually going to allow you to sell, buy and sell contracts, buy and sell mining hardware and parts, buy and mm -hmm. sell mining software mm -hmm. or any related services. And you're going to be able to open your sort of own online store there and sell all of those things. I guess kind of along the lines of eBay, but uh, you know, not as frustrating in terms of payment options and not taking as much of your profits. <laughs> it's, so it's a mining market? Is that, is that what it's called or do we have a name for it? Yeah, well right now we're calling it the miner's market. The mining what? Miner's market. Miner's now. market? Is that the domain? Uh, no, that's actually, it's part of the BitDriller overall service. Oh, the, there's okay. a tab for it. So part of BitDriller is going to be the miner's market. And that's, that's where you'll right. be able to buy and sell all sorts of mining gear. Is it going to yeah. be like consumer sell, like eBay, like it's an auction site? or? Um, well, we, I don't think we're going to be doing auctions. We're going to be more like a, the only buy it now portion, at okay. least when we start up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but that just means that anybody, if you've got some mining rigs at home uh, mm -hmm. and you want to sell some contracts for them, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. can do that. If you're looking for contracts, but... Uh, maybe we're not offering the exact contract you want, or maybe mm -hmm. you want a different features that we're not offering. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe somebody on the miners market is. Okay. So you can just go there. So basically, there's contracts. specialized classifieds for miners and mining equipment. Yeah, we're going to allow you to actually open a full online store there wow. for people who have maybe a, a bit more volume. Mm -hmm. And for people like 
like uh, er all our early adopters, mm -hmm. we're going to be uh, anybody who pre-orders. We really want to reward any early adopters as much as possible. So mm -hmm. we are going to be setting them up with online stores and all that for free. Nice, nice, cool. Okay, so check it out, everybody. Bitdriller.com launching right now as we speak. This is breaking news on the Bitcoin Show. Uh, Bitdriller.com. Thank you, Thomas Benoit, for joining us. And we're out of time. And we could talk forever, but we'll definitely have you back on again. I want, to, I want a status update in a few weeks. We'll see how, how it goes. We'll be watching. So everybody join us again tomorrow, or actually Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern. See you then. All right.